Well, we've all heard about the benefits of eating local produce. So today, Jim Epstein, who's the chairman and co-founder of Blue Ridge Produce, is here to give us some tips on how we can go local and do something better for our bodies, for our health, for local farmers and the planet. Right, Jim? Welcome. Yes, indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Yeah, we're so happy to have you in this wonderful basket of produce, local Beautiful. produce. Yeah. So what is Blue Ridge Produce? And by your definition, what is local? So Blue Ridge Produce is an aggregator of Virginia and regionally grown produce for sale to the this, uh, our region that we live in. Uh, and local is, has a whole variety of definitions. Some people define it by your, you know, growing in your neighborhood. Some people have a, you know, 25 miles or 50 miles or 100 miles or whatever. Um, for me, I think what's important is how quickly it gets from the field to the plate. And because the nutrient value of produce drops as soon as it's picked. And so the sooner we get it, the more nutrient value is retained uh, in the produce. So for us, we strive to get produce from uh, farm to plate within 36 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot faster than what you see typical grocery stores. I mean, the food's sitting there for weeks, I don't know, it days? It could be. Yeah. I mean, the, typically grocery stores are pretty agnostic about where produce comes from. Mm -hmm. And of course, most of it comes from, a, for us, from the other side of the country. Mm -hmm. And that takes days, many, many days. It's waiting in a warehouse there to get on a yep. truck, trucking across the country and then sitting in a warehouse here and then into mm -hmm. the system. So it, it does take many, many, many days. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it sounds like just the carbon footprint of that process, it's just That's not a huge, good. That also is a huge impact. Yeah. And one of the values of having local produce uh, is not only do you get a higher, more freshness, mm -hmm. higher nutrient value, um, it also uh, is an opportunity to really eat more seasonally because mm -hmm. of what's grown locally. Uh, and it helps to reduce the carbon footprint of, of what, we, what we consume. Well, it sounds like local's the way to go. So what are some easy ways that the average person at home can incorporate more local produce into their everyday diet? Well, local produce, uh, the best way to do it is through farmer's markets. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have many of them, and they've mm -hmm. become ubiquitous everywhere. They're yes. uh, wonderful ways to connect to the farmer, to yeah. talk to the farmer, find out what the farmer <laughs> yeah. is doing, and mm -hmm. talk to your neighbors at the yeah. same time. So that's probably the, the single best yeah. way to do it. Um, your local co-op, typically food co-op, has uh, it has a good connection mm -hmm. to local farms mm -hmm. and we're likely to have them anything. Yeah. Um, supermarkets are beginning to move towards uh, uh, more s local sourcing. Mm -hmm. um, online groceries are a mm -hmm. big thing that's coming up mm -hmm. uh, and they have made a big effort to, to source a lot of local produce in their system. A form of getting local that's been around for a long time is a CSA, which stands for Community Supported Agriculture. That's where an individual will buy a share of whatever a farm produces. And so during their season, they're getting a basket filled with a variety of items. Mm -hmm. The newest variation on that is more like a farm club in which you're getting a curated basket of local items, but they're sourced from a whole bunch of different farms, so that means that each week you're getting a much greater variety than you would were you to get everything from a single farm. And then finally, another variation that's come up is, is a, a meal subscription, so that you're getting the basic ingredients to make a meal, or to make several meals, uh, and those companies are making a big effort to source as much of their produce as they can from local sources. Yeah, well, so many different options. I think it, it it's doable. <laughs> it, it is, doable. indeed. It is, indeed. Great, great. And it's important to ask where the produce comes from. So really, in order to move the needle on how much is sourced locally, because right now we have only about 6% of the produce in the food system is really local. And so in order to really move that needle, we need to encourage the bigger institutions to move towards greater amount of local sourcing. And the way to do that is the same way that students are doing it on the universities, which is insisting that we get local, that they put, they walk their talk for local food just the way they teach around sustainability and they're building green buildings. Nice, well I love it. Well I feel like so encouraged to eat local every day, every way. And coming Good. up, we're gonna do that with a recipe from Vegan Man using this. And then after that, we're going to go on a little holistic vegan cruise to the Caribbean and check out some of the hottest eco fashions of the season. Don't go away.